Hello. So what prompted you to leave Twitter? Because I, I was trying to, when I originally was trying to get in touch with you, I thought, oh, I'll speak to Charlie on Twitter. And I thought, oh, right, that's been about four years or however when you left. So that's why I got in touch via Instagram. But what, what was the kind of catalyst where you thought, you know, I'm getting out of here? It was, I'd get up every morning and I would sit on the loo and go through Twitter. <laughs> it's a lovely picture to think of that. Yeah, it is. Isn't that lovely? <laughs> No, I just got, I just realised that it made me miserable. I realised one day, I thought, do you know, I spend all day getting antagonised by it. Why am I, why do I do it? I realised, I described it as two people playing chess by throwing all the pieces at each other. (laughs) (laughs) That was my analogy. Yeah. And so I just quit one day and I've never, I do not miss it at all. And it's, you know, it's, the thing is with Twitter, it's all, you know, it's, it's all subjective because you really follow the people or the news content or whatever that you're interested in. And um, it's the ultimate form of ultimate kind of form of subjective reasoning to support your own arguments. You have this idea of what how you think the world is, and you subjectively pick things that adhere to that. I think the problem now, certainly, you know, it's the same with Facebook. Instagram's not so bad, but Facebook and Twitter is it's just a stream of misery and depressing shit and i don't i don't want to i just don't want you know i i read i actually only read one news i read the washington post every day which is you know to me a measured newspaper but i don't need to be then bombarded with a load of left and right bullshit uh constantly so it's, and you know certainly as someone who kind of sits in the middle politically i don't i i don't need this right and left extremism all the time it, it seems to be miserable well, it does. I mean, it seems to be a more recent thing as well. I mean, I remember when Facebook was just pictures of cats and photos of your auntie. And now it's, yeah, it is just full of memes. Like you say, it's either extreme, seems to be extreme left or extreme right. Like, so there's not a lot mm. in the middle very often. And it does kind of get a bit like, why, why are you bothering? So I, I'd agree that Instagram's probably the best out of a bad bunch, really. But I, I do kind of prefer that to, uh, to the others, definitely. Yeah, it's not as political. And I, you know, I'm not at all political when I, when I work with Instagram. Uh, and I've got no, no interest in being political. The, what I do occasionally, I get drunk and I post pictures of cowboys, <laughs> cowboys branding cows. Just to see the absolute hysterical Carnage. outrage <laughs> and people unfollowing me. I've lost 5,000 followers in the last six weeks. That's I'm doing well. I don't know how I, don't know how I did it. <laughs> so, um, but no, if I post a cow, because I, I like working with cowboys. You know, I was living in Wyoming, but that, you know, I'd go, I'd go and shoot the cattle branding. And you'd post a picture of that, and Jesus, the outrage. Really? Um, yeah. Oh, yeah, say, and, you know, I, I, say I really, understand I it. I understand it to an extent. You know, it's, it's, it's a brutal, painful experience. But the, the outrage would be, uh, you know, is aimed at me. And that's sort of <laughs> funny. But also what it does is it reveals this massive political polarization in the US where, you know, someone does something that you don't like or you don't agree with and they, are, they should die and you hate them. <laughs> and that's what it actually reveals when you look at the comments. It's, I mean, yeah. if you've got, ever got 10 minutes to scroll through my Instagram feed until you find a cow being branded, and just <laughs> read those comments. Oh God! Yeah. yeah, no, I'll do that. Next time, next time I'm on on the toilet, and I'm and I'm yeah, there for, you, you know when I yeah. when I think this is going to be a ten minute job, I'll um, you've got a long one. <laughs> I'll uh, you know I'll, I'll I'll give that a bash. 